That's disgusting. All right. Thank you so much. I'm over it. Okay. This place is a mess. I forgot it came in this aqua blue packaging. Oh, my skin is not perfect. It's the oil, come on. Yo, yo, all right, it's the next day. I finally finished everything. So I finished this Alex drawer, the wide one. I finished that one and that one. This ottoman, or yeah, ottoman was underneath here. It was really decorative, I barely used it. And now I think about it, I barely sat here to do my makeup. I needed more storage. So I got this, I have a white slim garbage that I'm gonna put on the side of here. Now I'm torn because this would be cute to use as an ottoman, but I like the storage that's under there, under that table. And I don't wanna get rid of this table and then wish I had it later on. But then again, this I could use in place of that. So ah, I don't know what to do with this. I need to clear out this area, perhaps just store it on the floor there and think some more. I need to clear, obviously I'm doing a whole like cleaning. Uh oh, let me turn this down before I get, Jesus. Obviously I'm clearing and cleaning this place out, right? Cause I can't do my makeup because my micro bleeding. So I'm taking this advantage, taking advantage of this to organize and clean. Okay, mm, it's weird to see all this space, but I'll figure all that out. Why is this still playing my show? I'm watching All Rise. I found this show on the airplane from Legoland and I love it. It's so good. It's black. This black lawyer. I, but I thought I paused it. What in the world? Come on. Alrighty. So yeah, I don't know what to put inside of this now. Because in the first eight drawers, seven drawers, we have mm, five, six drawers, we have skincare. And then one of the drawers is our giveaway items. And then one is to his hair it's just a miscellaneous situation happening right here i want to be more organized so i want to have certain drawers for certain things i'm going to take all of those items here and put them in these drawers and perhaps take away this i don't know but i don't know what to put in here because i have overages of skincare in these two boxes the bottom one's paper i have overages of skincare in these two boxes so i wonder if this should continue to be skincare i think i need to figure this out so come on give me love i'm gonna show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say damn and yeah you know what's up all right i moved the ottoman here this is a box of stuff that i'm giving away and this is stuff for my trip and yeah, I don't know where else to put that. So that's just going to stay here for now. Yo, so this microblading has been challenging for me. <sighs> My forehead feels extremely greasy because I have not been able to clean my face the way I need to. I have cleaned the bottom part. I just rinse my eyes with my fingers with the water and then the top. Uh, so what I've been doing is I wash the bottom and then in my entire face, I've been using the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, which has AHA in it. So it penetrates the top layer of skin to clean it. And then I do a very simple skincare, a First Aid Beauty Hydrating Serum and then SPF. And then at night, I just do the same thing, but a hydrating serum and then a night cream it is so odd for me to do such a shortcut skincare routine for so many days it's one thing if it's you know almost says sometimes it's just like yeah i don't feel like doing a whole 17 steps let me just do a little woman and go to bed but this has been several days so i feel so unreal to me not to mention i can't do my makeup which is odd it does feel like a little vacation but i have so many ideas i'm sitting here like wow i mean this is just so strange to not be able to get glam when I want to get glam. It's different if I don't want to, but I'm like, oh, I'm itching to just get glam and I can't, you know, whatever, it's fine. I, I, I knew this would happen, but I just didn't know what it would feel like. And then, so today, so in order to keep my pores clean because I'm not able to wash my face how I usually do, I, today I was like, okay, I need to use a BHA to get beneath the deeper layer of the skin because I, or to get in the D. The B helps me to remember beneath. Anyway, so beneath the layer of the top layer of the skin. So today, this morning, I was like, okay, I need to use a BHA because I know my, I'm not cleaning my skin like I normally do and I don't want clogged pores because I saw this pimple 
pop up right here. It's so gross to me. It was white, so it was filled with gunk. Oh, just, just annoyed me. I was like, oh, this is disgusting. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do a BHA, you know? And I did that this morning, honey child. Just like 10 minutes ago, I was like, mm. I was just touching my face and I was like, oh my gosh, I have rashes. I broke out from the BHA. Now that is an irritation. That doesn't mean, what that means is, <laughs> I was gonna say something else. What that means is that the product is strong. Now the product is indeed strong. Paula's Choice BHA serum, whatever you call it, it is very strong. It works extremely well. And I've used it in the past. I just wonder, because the problem is that I have not used my prescription cream that's for my rosacea in a week. And I've been avoiding it Oh, did I sit? I might have used it on Saturday. I'm supposed to do it every other day, but I can't lie because I'm not doing my normal routine. It has really messed up my flow that I am not in the flow of using my prescription. And I feel like because I'm not maintaining the rosacea underneath my regular skincare products, that is what broke me out because I, and then I used the BHA. I think it ended up being too strong. I've used this before and I didn't have this, this reaction. And what it is, is a breakout of my rosacea. So it's focused on the cheeks, which is really where you normally get the flushing of rosacea. I'm dark skinned, so you're not gonna see red flushing, but this is where the rashes are, as you see. I was just sitting here and I was like, oh my God, my face. It's gonna go away by tomorrow, I'm sure. And I have some on my forehead too. And I did put the BHA, I did avoid my brows. I know I have to avoid my brows. You have to avoid your brows with all the poor cleaning products. So I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, so I need to make sure that I don't use any, you know, when I'm all healed. I gotta make sure that I don't use a cleanser that has actives in it, or can I? Because it does rinse off. I'm going to have to see because I don't know what that means. I think I'm not supposed to, but like, what the heck? Like, oh, so yeah, there's that. I feel so weird having such a greasy forehead and it's not from my products per se. It just feels like the A&D ointment is transferring to the forehead. It just feels weird, yo. I'm just like, oh, okay, hi, microblading. And then I got to do this again in six to eight weeks. Like, bless the Lord, this is annoying. I gotta tell you, it's annoying me. I can't wait for this to be healed. So I can just get over this because Friday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. Four days. It's been four days. I'm over it, okay? I just want to be healed quickly. I don't know. This is good on my nerves. Just the whole waiting. So, yeah, man. You know, it's it's putting... It has put a halt to what I do norm normally and naturally. And that is what I'm finding difficult. If I was someone that did not do makeup and create content on my face for a living, then this would be a breeze. But I can't lie, not being able to do what I love to the extent that I normally do it is, I'm having a hard time with that, you know? But yeah, it is what it is. Cause you know how you might watch a video and someone's like, oh, I just feel so stressed, I'm doing makeup. Oh, I just feel so sad, I'm doing makeup. And I love doing makeup. That's why I love the job that I do. I'm in the perfect career. And I can't do it, so it's just odd. And then, of course, skincare. Skincare is so peaceful and relaxing for me, so I'm just like, uh, doing this bootleg version. It just feels weird. So, yeah, girl, it started to peel today. I hope this thing ain't going to just come off. I don't know. I hear it's supposed to peel and then come back. But then it was, I was told, not by the place I went to, <clears throat> that for others, their microblading peels off and then the pigment comes back up. Well... I don't know. No, no. Okay, that too. I was told by the place I went to that. Sorry, what I want to say is I was told that on day two, it gets dark, like marker dark. Mine looked the same color they looked when I left, which is fine with me. So I don't know what my experience is going to be and how that will be, how that will pair with how others have experienced this. But there's one piece lifting up and I was looking at it in the mirror. Honestly, I don't know if you focus on my glasses or what. Yeah, now you're focused. Honestly and truly, it looks like I could just take tweezers and pick this off. Like it looks like it's a sticker. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that, but that is what it looks like. And I'm just like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> Why does it look like that? I hope it ain't gonna just fall off when I actually wash my face because I get to wash my face on, <clears throat> 
It said to wait seven days. So then when I wash my face on the eighth day, because it just feels like taking a shower for the first time, you know, like I just can't wait to actually wash my face the correct way not this bootleg and so for real because of this i'm not getting those false individual lashes i need to be free of my skincare and i as as cute as they look sometimes on some people some people just look ridiculous to me i i don't i just can't i can't risk any of this foolishness anymore apply ointment two times a day yeah because i'm on day three to seven you cannot get your brows wet Take a shower, take proper precautions. You can wear makeup, but no eyebrow makeup for seven days, which I'm just not going to do. Like, what? Okay, four, seven days. No chemical peels, limit sun exposure, limit exercise. No, and oh, and I've not been able to work out because I don't want to perspire. So it's just like, and I was back, I was getting back on working out. I didn't realize this, I didn't realize how close that was to me now not being able to work out until. And actually came here. You must keep A and D ointment on your brows. We will supply you with some ointment for your first session. My my A and D ointment doesn't disappear. <sighs> ointment should be applied with a sterile Q tip. Yeah, so here it is. And you saw, or did you see? Yeah, you would have seen in my other vlog where I went with La Boutique, La Beauty, excuse me, La Boutique Makeup and Beauty Lounge. So yeah, yo, I'm just sitting here like, dang, I already, I, I redid the office, I didn't redo, but you know, I upgraded the office, added some new furniture, um, cleansing it, cleansing it, organizing and, and things like that. There's still some random things around I gotta move. So that's been good. Oh, I also have a few things. What's my to-do list? I use Google Keep. I've been going back and forth with what I like to use as a to-do list mechanism. I'm just that person. I've got a pad folio. I've, I, I've done the printing out, like literally color coded printing out a weekly to do list, and then I write in the spaces that are empty when I want to add things to it. I've always used Google Keep, but I, f I stopped it after a while, and now I'm back on using Google Keep. I know, so annoying, but and this lighting is moving around, girl. Excuse me. It's so annoying, but I like it because it syncs to my computers and my phone, and it's a to do list, you know. And I have lots of lists in Google Keep. I used to use the notepad, the sticky notes that you can put on your Apple desktop, but I don't use that anymore because if you ever have to re what, erase your hard drive or you get a new computer, all those notes are gone. They don't transfer over to some kind of iCloud. Google Keep, however, does stay in your Google iCloud. So, all the, I mean, I have, this is where I put my packing list for things. This is where I put down videos to record. This is where I have my referral links to, for easy access, my YouTube captions, IG captions, everything, topics, just all kind of stuff. All kind of, all kind of, all kind of. It is my notebook, my notepad that I keep digitally. And it is, it is a savior. It is a savior. So I'm pulling up my to-do list that is a mix of personal and business. Oh, that's what I should do. So this week, what I'm doing is taking advantage of the taking taking advantage of the time that I'm not filming to do administrative things that I need. For instance, just clean it up over here, and then I'm gonna prepare for a drugstore makeup tutorial that I'm gonna film this weekend and see what I'm missing. Cause I did go to Target, like you saw, and I got some stuff, but I was in a rush. So I don't know if I missed things. I'm sure I did. And then I'm also gonna organize that so that my filming on Saturday goes smoothly. Then I also, oh, I got a drone. I got a drone, yo. So I got a drone because vlog footage on travel gonna be off the chain with, yes. So I can't wait for that. I gotta, let me put that on my to-do list. Open up the drone and orient myself. Drone orientation, okay? And I have to register the drone. Did you know that? You need to register your drone with the aviation of the hoo-hoo, the FAA aviation, mm -hmm. because your drone is like an airplane. <laughs> Recreational use, of course, but it needs to be registered. Or else you're going to go to the big house. And just because I've been arrested before does not mean I like it. <laughs> I am not built for the big house, you yeah, know? Not the video stopped recording, that is so annoying. Did y'all see my video when, when I talked about the, the story time where I slept in the train station? Oh my God, it was so annoying. Who's, who's call? Oh, there's one. I'm getting a phone call. Hold on, hold on. And uncertainty for him and for all the participants involved. This next stage of his journey is found in First Kings chapter, read First Kings. Serving somebody else. She literally is described in 1 
verse 11, despite her own lack and need, being willing to go get something for somebody else. You know what this tells me about her? It tells me she's not lazy. So you know that I use this makeup kit from, or this case from Amazon. I love it because it keeps all of my makeup that I'm currently using in one place so that I don't have to have all this mess around, right? I have stuff stored away and then I drag this out, put this on my desk and then use what's in here for whatever look I'm doing. This is the section where my brushes are <laughs> and some pencils. I'm going to clean these brushes. It is about time. So let's take all these out. days now and I was just waiting to open it because I just I don't know I was a little nervous oh this is probably gonna be so good please let me like it oh this was on my this was definitely it's not was this is currently in my wish list on Sephora I'm gonna go take it off now let's spray this please let me like this okay it's fresh it's a fresh scent oh yes but it dries down to like something else hold on Oh, yes. What? Oh, I love it. Miss Dior, come on. Let me okay, I'm getting a lot of other notes now that it's... Oh, yes. Yeah, so you got to give fragrances a shot. Now that it is drying down, I'm definitely picking up on other things. Wow. Oh, I love this so much. Hula Glow Bronzer. Oh, this is not my skin tone at all. So I'm gonna give this away, but wow. Oh wait, this is for the, the face and the body. Wait, I might put this on my body on the beach. Hold on. I might use this on my body on the beach. <laughs> Not a giveaway, just kidding, psych. <laughs> Ew. Ooh, I wanted this. I was gonna buy it. I, you know, I listen, I go through so many, we go through so many lip balms in this house. It's insane because I hate dry lips and I'm always telling you need to put on chapstick. Oh, I call everything chapstick. You know that already, okay? Everything is chapstick. That's just how I roll. Wow, Laneige. What did Taja say? I don't remember how she said it. She she corrected us and now I forgot. Love it. This peppermint, this is ginger snap, ginger snap, excuse me. This is not just for nighttime. I use these day and night because they are that fantastic. Okay, I have to show you this in the bathroom. <laughs> Granted, I don't leave the toilet open. I just did that to show you. But this is a motion censored something something. I'll link it below. And I think it's cute. This is a guest room that this is the guest bathroom that he uses. And I think it's just so cute because it lights up. But obviously when he walks in, this is always closed. I believe in closing toilet seats. But when he opens it and it's dark in here, that is so cute. I just finished eating my lunch really fast. I can log in for therapy. Hello. I have my earpiece in. I think I'm gonna sit down for this session on the floor. I don't know. Let's see. Like I like the ability to be like, can we just do audio today? I'm just not even wanting to be on camera. These brows look insane, by the way. Let me show you. Like, what is this? This peeling? I did not know that this was like henna, where it would come off. And then you'll see what comes up. I did not know that. I wish 
someone had used that henna reference for me so that this is not so shocking <laughs> i'm like what i thought that they were gonna look just like they looked on friday no 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 all of this is gonna peel off like it already is and then we're gonna see what stays oh whatever here we are okay so i'm logged in i'm waiting on her to come through therapy ew so microblading first of all shout out to my girl lois campos she's my photographer and she launched a clothing brand on etsy love it mara marana wow maranatha i looked it up i cannot remember what it means i think this is what it means unless this is okay i can't remember <laughs> but i like it i bought it oversized i think this is a 2x or 1x or something like that update on my microblading but not before we update on my face so it may have been was it here that i told you yeah it was the vlog i believe where i told you that i used a bha and it broke me out i haven't been able to wash my face the way i need to so i did the bha in hopes of keeping my skin and my pores clear well it was too rough i hadn't been using my prescription for a while so not using the prescription means not controlling the rosacea using a bha meant ah! so my skin reacted that same day it's healing now this is the process where my skin looks psychotic so i did a bootleg wash on my the bottom part of my face today i haven't been able to wash my forehead yo i can oops i cannot wait until tomorrow to actually be able to wash my forehead to wash my whole face wow it's gonna feel so good microblading doesn't feel like anything it's just oh yeah I'm on that right this is what it looks like <laughs> Again, it's like henna. Mm, I don't like the way it looks at all, but whatever. When I do my makeup, I'm going to do it the same way that I've always been doing it. It's going to be interesting. Tomorrow when I finally do that, I have four videos to film tomorrow. I, I got to I gotta go. I have things to do. So I'm moving on, moving on, moving on, moving along tomorrow because tomorrow is day eight. When it comes to this, it doesn't hurt at all. It just looks insane and it'll be... It'll look a lot better tomorrow. It'll look way better on Sunday and Monday. So yeah. Also, what else did I want to, oh, uh, two things. Holiday season, I I don't go to the bank. I don't carry cash, but I was like, let me just get some cash just to have on me because sometimes when you do things, you need cash. I also, I did this once, before, once or twice before, but it's been a while. I was like, you know what? I have cash on me. I'm actually gonna break them down to fives. And I wanna just bless people just randomly for instance i just went and had a car wash and the lady who helped me i just said thank you a merry christmas and i just gave her a 20. and i don't think she even knew what i put in her hand i'm sure she'll see it later and, and just be blessed by that i want to be able to do that randomly for people random acts of kindness i don't do it often i think it's nice people are going through a lot and if i have overflow why not just randomly surprise someone because it could really mean a lot for them if it's someone who is on a real tight budget trying to do the best they can and maybe they're not going to be able to have lunch that day or something like that it just breaks my heart to think about it so i have cash and i'm gonna just i don't go many places but you know where i do go i'm gonna just do that to bless people and i say this because i want to encourage you if you are in a position of overflow ever it's a nice thing to do a while ago my husband and i were at lunch or something and we saw this i think it was just a mom it was a mom boyfriend i can't remember and we just felt in our spirit that they it took them a lot to get to come and have lunch and we were just like yo what if we just pay for their meal but we don't want them to know that it's us my armpits itching and we don't want to make a big deal out of it so we told our server to pay for their meal but don't tell them until we leave like don't go say oh don't say that because <laughs> i was like this is awkward because some people get offended and i understand the embarrassment behind it but then i also know the power of just being able to bless someone and they don't need to know who it was it's like when you go to the starbucks or dunkin donuts or mcdonald's or whatever and then they're like 
oh, if somebody paid for you, you're like, wait, what? Someone paid for me? You're like, what do you mean? It's the sweetest thing. You're sitting there perplexed. Like, what do you mean? So essentially something like that. I thought that was just so nice. So I had forgotten about those kinds of things for the longest time. And now it has come back to my memory and I want to make it a constant thing. I do. So y'all, y'all. Oh, and the reason why I'm here at Walmart is because there are a few things that I did not pick up when I was at Target the other day from my drugstore video that I'm filming tomorrow. But now I'm like, ooh, my face. But whatever. Y'all, y'all get it. Because this is the thing, right? Like, some people have acne on their face that they cannot control and they look somewhat similar to this every single day. So who am I? I'm, I'm talking to myself as I talk to you. Who am I to be like, oh, my skin is not perfect. Let me not film. Some people don't walk around with smooth skin ever and they still have to walk around because they still have a life to live. So I need to normalize that just like everyone else. If you have a breakout or what have you, let's go. The show still goes on. You understand? So all this to say, I'm here to pick up a few things because tomorrow on my, on my, one of my things to do is to film that drugstore video and I'm missing a few things. I put it on my phone. Let's see. What am I missing? Because I had a bunch of stuff. Girl, I have a lot of stuff. Oh my God. I, I, listen, let me not even. Let me. My man calls it confusion. I don't want to eat it. Okay. I want a cream contour. It could be a darker foundation stick. I just like to do cream first. And then, of course, I need a setting powder for the contours. Like a dark powder is fine. And. I want to get a new blush. I've not been killing y'all with this e.l.f. blush. I love it so much. I want to, I haven't, I don't have anything from Milani. I want different brands. I need to explore different brands from the drugstore, clearly. So I want to find a different blush. And then an eyeshadow base. I have the NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base. We all know how fantastic that is. I want to see if I can find something. Does e.l.f. have one? I don't know. I want to see if I can find something else. And then eyeshadow palette. I have a lot of palettes. I have a lot of palettes that I haven't used yet, but they're not drugstore palettes. So five things. Other than that, I have everything else. I have a lot of lippy options too. So let's go inside and do it. By the way, I love this Valentino. What's the what's the what's the name of the girl? I can't I can Garava. What's it? I can't. I I cannot keep up with all these names. I can't barely keep up with names in the uh, makeup videos. How much more bags is too much? But I just love this and this Louis V key pouch situation i love it it just makes things easy i don't have to carry it you know i used to i used to carry a big old wallet i have those at home i don't want to always carry that now i am into a smaller method of transportation for my <laughs> daily goods if you will <laughs> oh someone asked me to show how i organize my car i am going to do that because i just actually took my bag out from behind my chair i hang it behind my chair i am going to show that because it's like a vibe it's very simple things that i do to just keep the car clean and organized and just not full of stuff and that's that that's the impetus behind how i now carry my bag because that man was looking at me like who is she talking to at eight in the morning like why <laughs> what kind of camera at eight in the morning why are we doing this you understand what i'm saying so oh did i explain why my face is so greasy vaseline vaseline is a skin protectant it's also a healing ointment this is actually petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly but just like every lip balm is chapstick every that every petroleum jelly product i have is vaseline <laughs> it's just you know it's like every detergent to somebody is tied it's just the familiarity of it all the familiarity wait <laughs> wait not on my mouth hold on familiarity right familiar no it's not familiarity jesus lamb hold on it's not familiar oh not me sound like i didn't go to school Fam it's just because the accent is throwing me off familiarity yeah it's the familiarity of it <laughs> Wait, that, that's not how that's not how it should sound. Family, 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 God of mercy, family. You know my tongue, we do my mouth. You know, I told you this in my videos. When I talk, because of my accent, sometimes I feel like stuff sounds weird. And I know to you, my accent is like mad accenty, like it's mad accentified, it's mad accentified. You know what I'm saying? Family, I haven't washed my hand in a week too. Listen, I am in a rare form this week. I am in rare form this week. <laughs> I have been in rare form this week. I don't even I don't even recognize myself, you know? Very humbling to know that I 
very humbling to not be able to get glam and feel beautiful and just having to sit with this week old crusty hair and my eyebrows looking a mess for a whole week. And just having to sit in that and not having an option because I paid a lot of money to get this done and just having to sit in it and wait. Yeah, it's a very humbling experience, I, I must say. I, I do. I have to I have to point that out this this early morning. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, wait, the grease is because I'm healing my face. I can't do it. Okay, so it's not like I need nails because I have an abundance of nails at home, but and I don't come into the store often, but when I do, I just wanna see what they have. These look so cute. If you don't wanna order them online, definitely come in the store and grab some nails these are really cute too nice and short Ooh. well these are medium length these are really really cute stuff like this but these are cute like i wouldn't i've done it in the past it's just not my vibe but i love looking at it i better do my nails again i'm gonna do them these are so adorable to me so stinking cute Alrighty, let's see what oh my god what is this mix okay wow this place is a mess dang this place is an absolute let me put this down this is a mess and uh what okay what do i i don't even know where to begin dang i would have wanted to get the fit me blush but these colors no i need something deeper wow i can't believe they still have these when i was a makeup artist and i was stacking up my kit i bought so many of these color tattoos because they're so versatile wow i wonder if they have a light colored one this is front mm, it's frosty that's not gonna work i could have used this for my eyeshadow base but the frost is not gonna work hold on what company is this right here there's no name what is this is this oma what is this speak no evil speak what company is this this is i haven't seen this before it is oma beauty well that's not very clear on this display it is on this but it is not clear on this display have y'all seen this display in walmart nothing on here says oma beauty wow Let's see this looks really cute i would need transition colors but this is cute let's see hold some more Ooh. Mm. this is really pretty all right here we are milani i this is a highlighter this is a shimmer i want a matte blush but this one oh, come on what's going on this was a mess i used to love this these are baked highlighters dang it this is just so bright i don't want this i need something more dang this place what in the world this is difficult to navigate let's see what is this eyeshadow palette giving oh it's a face palette oh there's a blush inside Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Guilty blue. This is the one I just saw down there. Huh, bronze. That's, that could bronze me. Maybe I'll get this. Now that I look at it. Oh my God, look at Blue Juicy Jazz. Look at Juicy Jazz in Walmart. This is serious wow go ahead girl they got you tucked in the back though what in the world hold on wait a minute i might get this palette wow hold on yes jazz you knew exactly what we needed i'm getting this one i'm putting the other one down love the bottom right qu quadrant because those colors amazing getting this okay i'm glad i found this wow but then again what i liked about this one is that it has a blush in it i'll keep both I don't know how I missed this earlier, but I'm going to use this as my contour setting powder. Perfect. I'm getting another electric toothbrush to put in my travel suitcase so that when I'm traveling, I can keep my teeth clean. You know, just the manual. The manual is old. That's olden days. This stuff is really, really good. 
Keep your teeth real, real clean at all times. I need you most. We got love guaranteed. And I have to know, say. So we got a new silk press or whatever. Ow. Hi. I was going to do layers, but I don't want to take away the length. I'm enjoying my length and like whatever. So I decided not to do the layers. I got frizz going on, but that's okay. Once I wrap it, we gonna be all good. I'm not, obviously I'm not doing makeup today. I wash my face tomorrow. So that's when I'll do makeup because today is day seven. I see the formation. I really do. Now that the darkness is gone and I see, I see something happening. I know that over the next few weeks, it's going to start darkening on the tip, but I'm seeing something here and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> It's a different look for the kid, you know, it's a very different look for the kid, but I'm enjoying it. I wanted to re refill my steroid that I use for my chest, it's my body, but the breakout is on my chest when I break out in eczema and my doctor trying to be all, you know, she's trying to follow all the guidelines and stuff and be professional, talking about some, you know, you haven't seen me in over a year, so I need to make an appointment for before she refills it. Like, I don't know why she got to do things the right way. Like, I don't know why she can't just give you the, the refill. I only use it on occasion. What you got to see? What you got to do? Why you got to be like that? <laughs> Not her doing her job the right way. <laughs> so annoyed. So, yeah. I say that because today I finally put some on. I was I just lotion and keep myself hydrated, like she moisturized, like she said. But it was just the the irritation on my chest and my arms wasn't going away. It's been weeks, and I was like, I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna use the steroid. And show enough, I put some on in the middle of the night because that's how agonizing it was. And I've been great. I've been great all day. I've been great all day. This stuff works. I just am not supposed to use it often. If you're on any kind of steroid, it's not for long-term use. I used to have a steroid that I was using for my face. Oh, my face was. I never had a breakout. Ever. Hi, when I had to wean off of it because it's not for long-term use. It thins the skin. When I had to wean off of it, God of mercy, my face was. It was bad. <laughs> but now I... I do what I do and I still get breakouts because that's just the nature of the game, you know. Bath and Body Candles came in, baby. Let's take a look at what we got. Yo, so I posted on stories the other day because, you know, Fenty had come back out with her fragrance. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like I need another one. The one I have is not done, but it's so good and limited, limited edition that I was like, let me go ahead and grab one because I don't know if this thing gonna come out ever again we don't know what is going on and show sure enough my package came today i just got this on monday today's the 10th and here we are we got a little fancy pouch see the detailing hi a basic basic pouch to put in maybe a large tote bag and then we got the fragrance this lighting is what's going on like wow let me sit down. I forgot it came in this aqua blue packaging. Why did she choose this? Is this her favorite color? It has nothing to do with the color of the fragrance itself. The bottle is brown. So why is this light blue? It doesn't match. What is the point? What is the point? I love the logo. It looks like, is this Givenchy? Is this Givenchy? Or is it Versace? Versace. One of them. It looks like it. Oh, y'all. So now I have two of these. I was going to put this one in the bathroom and in the master. I know it's not called the master's, any, master's bathroom owner's suite because of, I'm sure that it changed after the George, the year of George Floyd. I noticed that on Selling Sunset, they no longer call the master bedroom master. They call it the owner's suite because the master bedroom was referring to the slave master did you know that that's where master bedroom master bath came from so owner's suite the bathroom in the owner's suite i was going to use this 
But now I'm like, yo, this is so limited edition. Let me not be used this on a daily basis. Then again, I'm also like, yo, we only live once. Like, what am I waiting on? I don't know. I'm very torn. Did you buy the fancy fragrance or nah? Let me know. I love the detailing. It's a very, very simple bottle. It smells so good. It is so good, baby. It's a hundred and where's the price? Oh, it's not on here. Where's it at? Oh, I know it was 130 or was it 140? It ain't on here. All right, well, there's that. Let me spray it on this paper. Oh, fancy. Mm -mm. Get out of place. Wowzers. It just smells like money. Money, 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 money. This is not for children, baby. This is so good. Oh, yeah, I'm putting some. I have on a few fragrances today. <laughs> I can't even do it. I got on a few today. I don't know why. Hopper, hi. You tracking, you tracking flights? What flight you tracking, Hopper? I got Hopper over here tracking flights and stuff. I just sprayed it on my wrists. Oh my gosh. Oh, my husband loves this too. You think I, you would think I would give this one to him, but nah, baby. We're going to share all of it. I'm not going to just give it to you. We're going to share. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. I want to put this in the bed in the owner's suite, but he going he gonna to drink this. He going to finish this so fast. Look at me looking inside of it. There's no reason for me to be doing this at all. This is so good. This is a 2.5, 130 dollars. Mm, yeah, it's luxury, baby. What you, what else you want to do? Let me think. Oh, it smells so good. Let me just think some more. And now let's open up this 18 candle bath and body package. It shipped yesterday and got here today. It was shipped by LSO Lone Star Overnight. They ship overnight packages. I was like, oh hi, thank you. He's worthy. Oh, I got a lot of repeats because mahogany teak, well, you just can't get enough of. I just, if you like musky scents, if you like Fenty's fragrance, you're going to love mahogany teak wood because it's a must. M-U-S-K, not a must, but it also is a must, in my opinion. I'm turning you here because what I'm going to do is put these candles in one of my drawers and this what can I do open the no, whole freaking floor <laughs> I have this third drawer um I have some other bath and body products I'm gonna take these out I think we'll see but I'm putting my candles in here because the hallway closet storage is full okay and these can fit standing up which is nice so here we have mahogany teak wood times I think I got like not like. I want to stop saying like. When you say like when you're speaking, it's clear that you don't know what you're saying or that you're not confident in what you're saying. And I'm confident when I speak. That's why I don't speak very often. Because when I do speak, I've likely thought about, I say likely because I do make mistakes, <laughs> but I know what I'm about to say. So I'm sick and tired of speaking and adding in like it annoys me when people do it and it annoys me when I do it and I notice that I do it out of a sheer bad habit it's just it's honestly a sheer okay that was winter candy apple this is peppermint hot chocolate my new fave because I never get hot chocolate peppermint type scents at all I never get food type scents from Mac and Body, but baby I got it one time and now I'm hooked I'm gonna stick with the same favorite scents for years to come. No need to try new things except eucalyptus. I got eucalyptus snowfall in the guest bathroom. Amazing. Oh, this is eucalyptus mint. Wow. This is amazing. And I'm putting them in here in order because I'm that person. I need it to be in order. I cannot deal if it's not in order. Because I got several of the same ones. No need to get 18 different candles. No, ma'am. If you like the scent, go ahead and get a lot of them in that particular scent so that you good, you know? That was hot chocolate again. So we are on five. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got five of those. This is Winter Candy Apple again. Another eucalyptus mint. It's a heavy drawer. And I went to, oh, crushed candy cane. I got went to candy apple and crushed candy cane, hot chocolate, peppermint, eucalyptus mint, and mahogany teak wood. Those are the four, five cents that I got. And I got several of each. Oh, so cute. 
So these are the candles that are in here, but I do have candles in my closet too. Do not be mistaken. Yo, yo, good morning. It is the day, two days after my silk press and my first day putting on makeup with microblading. I couldn't record it because it was, I was in a rush first of all, and it was too early to put on lights. There are certain, certain times of day that I film and it was too early. Yes? Mommy, yes? This morning when you used the Q-tip, um, you put it back in the box. Hey, and says, you left it there. That was a mistake. And Daddy saw it. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. Go get Chapsa, please. Daddy told me to tell you. Of course he did. Of course he did. Thank you. That's disgusting. All right. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was on purpose. My Daddy husband... You heard that? I always get on him, so he made sure he was going to get on me. He doesn't on purpose. He normally doesn't care. I'm the one that would care. And so I made that mistake, and he wants to shove it to me. That's fine. Married life. Don't let